Our next step in our sales tax section after setting up sales tax preferences is to set up our sales tax items and, if necessary, sales tax groups. Let's come here under lists and let's come into our item list. Here, let's scroll down to the bottom and you can see that Rock Castle Construction already has four sales tax items set up and one sales tax group. Let's look at the East Bay Shore sales tax item. Here are the tax name, description, the rate, and the tax agency who we pay to. This is straightforward. And for many of you, you have only one tax rate that you charge. And so all you do is come in here and set up your one tax rate. Let's click OK here, and you'll notice that Rock Castle Construction has four tax rates. Let's look at the sales tax group. Use sales tax group if you collect more than one sales tax with any one individual transaction. In other words, when we invoice East Bay Shore County within East Bay Shore County here, we collect both the East Bay Shore city tax and the San Thomas, California sales tax. So we're collecting two taxes here. So when we set up a sales tax group, we se select multiple tax items. Let's demonstrate this. Let's click OK. And let's come in here and click on New, Sales Tax Group, and we're going to call this California Sales Tax. I want to call this example. Now, let's select the San Domingo tax and the San Thomas tax. This would be an example of a sales tax group. Now, QuickBooks will keep track of these two items for us and when we're ready to pay these taxes QuickBooks will tell us how much we owe individually to San Domingo and San Thomas.